Carnival Hangover by Joanne C. Hillhouse. It have people who when they play mass does get tired, does need to pee, does complain their foot burning them. Not her. And though she was a kind of Kiamash ants girl who never let no man pass his place with her, the very cliche of a stush bank employee, Carnival was different. It's like Shorty sang back in her mummy time, the time of the Lego Taurus, Lucinda, and all them so. Carnival is fantasy. A fantasy of body suits and shiny things, music and rum. The very act of Carnival itself a mask, or an unmasking, she supposed, depending on how you chose to look at it. Time jump, because next she knew herself she was at the top of High Street. Sun had long set, and they were turning toward the mass camp. Still a good hour of jumping and whining to be had. She looked around for her friends, impossible to find anybody in the dark. She felt for herself, but what was the point in all this noise? She briefly considered sending a text, but couldn't hold on to the thought long enough to follow through. She went instead to the moving bar to top up her vodka and cranberry. Then she kept on dancing, like the thousands of bodies around her, going where the music and good feeling took her.